I have an announcement. I'm giving up smoke. I know what you're thinking. I bet you weren't thinking the CEO of the company behind this viral ad was about to be fired, but that's exactly what happened. Here's how it all went down. Remember when Snoop Dogg said he was giving up smoke? The Instagram post had nearly 5 million likes and duped media orgs around the globe. I know what you're thinking. Snoop, smoke is kind of your whole thing, but I'm done with it. Days later, the weed enthusiast revealed the smoke he was referring to was the one around the fire pit. Solo stove fixed fire. They took out the smoke. Clever. The ad had more than 50 million views on Instagram alone. Clever indeed. Or was it? The ad had everyone talking, Ad Age ranked the collab the 18th best ad of 2023, and John Maris, the CEO of Solo Brands, wrote a 44-post thread on X about how they scored the dog father of smoke as Solo Stove's first ever spokesperson. One month later, it all backfired for him. Because while the ad raised brand awareness and expanded Solo Stove's audience, it did not lead to the sales lift that we had planned, interim CFO Andrea Tarbox said. That's the whole purpose of the commercial, right? <laughs> right. Plus, paying Snoop's not cheap, and the increased marketing investment negatively impacted the company's earnings. This heat is hella hot. The company announced John Maris is out, and Vista Outdoor CEO Christopher Metz is in. Two brothers started Solo Stove with no other employees for years. In 2016, they launched the Fire Pit as a Kickstarter campaign, ultimately sparking more than 1.1 million in investments. The brothers brought on John Maris as CEO in 2018, looking for an experienced executive to expand the brand. And that's exactly what Maris did. Not only building out Solo Stove, but acquiring Oru Kayak, paddleboard maker Isle, cooling company Icy Breeze, and apparel brand Chubbies, which has its own ad skills. Hey, I'm George Kittle, the people's tight end. The guys over at Chubbies asked me to release a teaser video to get people hyped about my upcoming collection with them but they said I absolutely cannot wear the clothing. Doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense to me, but supposedly they're the marketing experts. Solo Brands is still expected to make about half a billion in annual revenue this year. A far cry from Kickstarter, but now Maris's flame has fizzled out. Solo Brands says Mets is the right choice for the next chapter of growth, acknowledging John was instrumental in building Solo Brands into the company it is today.